Frequently people ask us, what is the Edgerton Center? We're introducing science and engineering to a great group of kids and doing it through a really hands-on manner. In order to get students to learn things at a really deep level, you have to get them interested. They have to want to know. And we found that the best way is engaging them hands-on. I think we need to be soldering two little ones together. The number one thing I'm looking for is for them to feel like the world is more curious than they knew before. We're like Hogwarts here. We can do magic. That's called engineering. One of the reasons we do hands-on learning is to help children who have different learning styles. This definitely is a different experience from what you get in a normal school environment. Instead of, okay, here's a technique, now go use it in these controlled ways that we'll tell you how to do, it's, here's a task, solve it however you can, and if you think you have an idea, come to us and we'll explain to you some possibilities. It's certainly a lot more fun to sit in a classroom where talking is encouraged, where playing and experiencing are learning. It gives for a lot more meaningful interactions between the children. It gives my MIT student workers and myself a lot more meaningful interactions with the kids as well. Having the MIT students here, they know what they're yeah. doing, so they really help you and you look up to them. And they're actually pretty well balanced. It's just been really great to do something a little bit less structured and it's very engaging for the students to get to do a design from start to finish. It's scary because when you go to one of these classes, I literally don't know what we're going to be doing. <laughs> and that's not generally how a teacher wants to go into a classroom. They're noisy, they're talking, but they're intense. So you look for the intensity and engagement, you know it's happening. You Go Girl is a four-day camp that we offer to rising ninth grade girls because middle school girls are the group where science suddenly becomes an option that is not desirable because of the cool factor. It's like a mix of biology, chemistry, engineering, a little bit of everything. We use Legos for a lesson we call a motorized Lego car rally to get a quick look at mechanical engineering, to understand some of the concepts of gearing up and gearing down. You end up with something that's moving, something that's working, and you did it yourself, and that's like the best feeling ever. One of the lessons that we use to end our week is a more traditional wet lab to teach chemistry. It's a pretty exciting lab. The kids get to do a little mad scientist time. They gave us these chemicals, and we had it in a Ziploc bag, and it started getting bigger, and it turned hot, and it and was... a chemical reaction yeah, happened. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. During the first week of the program, we had the MIT students talk about various projects that they'd be interested in, and we opened it up to the high school students and said, is there something that you see here that you'd be interested in doing? We had an option between different projects, but I like skateboarding, so I picked the electric longboard. Jed Story, Otto, and Derek were the primary people doing the longboard, and what a hoot. <laughs> I've physically been doing a lot of machining, so a lot of cutting stuff out with big tools, which is a lot of fun for me. What's great about the Edgerton Center is all of the resources, like, they get to see real engineering. <laughs> Velocity is speed and the direction. Whenever you're designing something like the motorized longboard, there's an infinity of physics concepts there. And so they'll hit some problem. And then you can talk about force or acceleration. And so you can give them a context for where physics fits in and where it should be part of your toolbox. Shane Colton really wanted to do the quad rotor helicopter. And it's kind of hard to think of people not wanting to do a quad rotor helicopter because it's just so cool. Right now, the whole thing just feels like tipping to one side. You want it to hover when your controllers are neutral, so we're going to fix that in the code. It was an interesting technical challenge, and the fact that it progressed the way it did was exciting. When we created the Edgerton Center, we did it to carry on the legacy of Doc Edgerton. And it was from him that I learned how important it was to get students excited by giving them real experiences. We have children come back 
to tell us that they loved the hands-on experiences they've had with us. We have parents and we have teachers constantly giving us feedback that this lesson really worked. We went back to our public school classroom and the children understood the next three lessons and they kept referring back to their time at MIT. Derek is very excited about things that go on at school because of what carries over from the MIT programs that he's involved with. I get phone calls asking if I'll do the Saturday thing the Saturday after Christmas, during Thanksgiving. The students are wanting to come into MIT even then. That indicates to me that it's resonating within them. I believe in a quote that Doc Edgerton was famous for saying, that the trick to education is to not to let them know they're learning something until it's too late. So if they're having fun, it engages them, they get interested in it, and if they go away having learned the lesson, terrific. And so that's basically our philosophy. 